forgotten lives, the plight of Katanga's mixed-race children. In the lush landscapes of Katanga, a province nestled in the southeastern heart of the Democratic Republic of Congo, lies a story that bears witness to the complexity of human history, the impact of globalization, and the lasting scars of colonialism. It's a narrative etched in the faces of a group of individuals who have struggled for generations, striving for the recognition that has perpetually eluded them. They are the children of mixed heritage, born to Congolese mothers and Japanese fathers who journey to this distant land to toil in its unforgiving minds. The tale of Katanga's mixed-race children is a testament to the human spirit, resilience in the face of adversity, and the unwavering pursuit of identity and heritage. These individuals bear a unique burden, their lives marred by a history that has left them both neglected and misunderstood. A Historical Tapestry of Katanga Katanga, renowned for its vast mineral wealth, holds a complex history that weaves together threads of colonialism, industry, and the fusion of cultures. In the early 20th century, Japanese laborers were drawn to this region, leading behind their homeland to seek opportunities in Katanga's burgeoning mining industry. Their journey across continents opened the door to a poignant chapter in the history of this remote part of the world. Japanese miners, far from their home, formed relationships with local Congolese women, transcending the boundaries of language, culture, and tradition. As these bonds deepened, children of mixed heritage were born, their existence a testament to the interconnectedness of human lives across borders and oceans. The Erasure and Its Consequences However, as the winds of history shifted, taking a toll on the labor-intensive mining industry, these Japanese miners eventually returned to their homeland. What ensued is a painful and unresolved accusation that has reverberated through generations. Some of the mixed-race children allege that their Japanese fathers, fearing social stigma or perhaps compelled by the pressures of the time, sought to erase any remnant of their existence, leaving their Congolese families behind. These unspoken stories have long been buried beneath layers of silence and time, leading these individuals grappling with a profound identity crisis and a void that calls for acknowledgement and understanding. For decades, they lived on the peripheries of society, denied their heritage and caught in a narrative not of their own making. The Quest for Identity Today, these remarkable individuals are on a quest for recognition, and they are not alone. They seek to shed light on their untold history and to claim their place in a globalized world that is increasingly focused on inclusivity, diversity, and understanding. The legacies of their Japanese ancestry and Congolese roots deserve a place of honor in the diverse tapestry of humanity. Their journey is a testament to the enduring spirit of those who refuse to be forgotten, who demand their place in history and society. It is a story of resilience in the face of injustice, a call for reconciliation, and a poignant reminder that in the shadow of colonialism's tumultuous past, every life holds a story waiting to be heard. In the rich and diverse mosaic of Katanga, the mixed-race children of Japanese miners stand as a testament to the enduring complexity of human history. Theirs is a history that beckons for recognition, understanding, and, above all, a promise of a brighter and more inclusive future.